The Stafford MP was one of 15 pro-Remain conservatives accused in a newspaper article of rebelling against the party for refusing to support Theresa May's plans to fix the Brex date in law. It led to a furious response, with some claiming they were the victims of attempts to bully them into silence. In a letter published in the Daily Telegraph, where the front page article appeared, the group denied any plans to block Brexit and insisted they had genuine intentions to improve the EU withdrawal bill. We are pleased conservative colleagues from across the Brexit divide accept our intentions are genuine and note that some are disappointed you didnt include them in our number, it said in the letter, which was signed by all 15 MPs. The letter added we have accepted the result of the EU referendum and accordingly accept that our country is leaving the European Union. We do not seek to delay or thwart Britain's exit from the EU, however much we may regret it. Many of us are lawyers, we are all parliamentarians. We seek to make an important bill, the EU Wetrawal Bill, considerably better by laying amendments, in accordance with our duties as MPs. The government laid an amendment late last week that seeks to put the date of Brexit on the face of the bill. What looks at first blush like an uncontroversial proposal could accidentally harm our country's interest. Putting a date in law is too rigid. As negotiations reach their close, the government may need a small amount of additional time to conclude, for example, the best transitional deal. Mr. Lafroy, a chartered accountant who lives in Kiel, told the Express Star it was completely ridiculous that he was trying to frustrate the Brexit process.